All right, what's up, people? So, <clears throat> I was gonna do this video with Josh later today, but I think we're gonna do one on uh, defensive pulls or um, um, setups for hooking, one of the two. <clears throat> so, I was just gonna throw this one out here on my lunch break. Um, so, I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, if you had to say one thing to a puller uh, to help them advance their game, what would it be? And unfortunately, I'm going to be that guy and tell you that there is no secret workout. There is no secret setup. Um, there is no secret drug for that. Fuck. All right, look, even the camera didn't like that word. And what I mean, <clears throat> the reason I said that is because obviously... These conversations have been coming up a lot uh, in the arm wrestling world. Personally, until you get funding that can fund pretty much all the events to uh, be tested, there's no sense in talking about it because you're just beating a dead horse, whether you use or whether you don't. Personally, does it have an effect? Obviously, or people wouldn't do it. In the arm wrestling world, I don't think it has a huge effect because we have too many examples to go off of to see. Um, <clears throat> like, you're not going to tell me that um, Babayev, Prudnik, um, you know, are not on the same or pretty close to the same workout plan as, um, you know, Soplankov and people of that nature in the super heavyweights. And those guys at half the weight, well, not half, but much lower weight are competing with these guys. So, you know up here is is the strongest tool in arm wrestling all right do you need strength sure do you need um certain training certain you know certain coaching yeah sure but i'm telling you if you're looking for uh, something to make a quick the biggest difference it's none of those things it's all right here and what i tell people is change the way you view um, arm wrestling, all right? Not not the people and so forth, but the actual combat of arm wrestling. All right, change the way... Hold on, let me close this. Change the way that you view... Um, for example, arm wrestling is a strength sport, right? <clears throat> Stop viewing it as a strength sport because you're not lifting a weight. You are in combat with another person. Um, if I, I like to compare it to MMA, um, if you view, you know, if you view it as an art form, not so much as a race, but as more of a chess match. All right. When you view it that way, you, you make less wasted movements. You start looking at details, um, much differently and much more in detail, um, for instance, um, like who's hot right now? Uh, Adesanya, all right? He is so good at this that he doesn't have to check all the boxes to be the champ, to be honest. Like he's terrible on the ground. That's almost an automatic check mark to be the champ. He can do it with next to no experience on the ground because this is so good. Same, what, same for McGregor, you know? Um, Khabib, same thing. They all come out smooth, calm, real low heart rate. You rarely see them make wasted movements. Um, with the exception of Connor having shitty cardio, you rarely see them get gassed out because they're not emotionally involved in it. You know, because when you involve your emotions, it clouds your judgment and so forth. And that even means getting jacked up in the gym. You get too jacked up. You lose, you get, you get shitty form, you end up getting hurt, you know. Same goes for arm wrestling. So, <clears throat> you know, if you're a good pro or uh, even an amateur and you've been stuck in the same kind of, you know, place for a little while, try this. Try to approach your training, your practices, all of that with a different viewpoint. Um, and I hit on this a little bit in the practice video. Um your goal is to be comfortable everywhere on the table. So if you're not training uncomfortable positions, then you're not gaining anything from practice. So um, if I had to tell you one thing, you know, that can change your level 
of um, where you're at, the quickest is that. All right, because once you change the way you view it and start using this more, you're going to figure out some angles, some setups, some, um, you know, just certain things that never made sense to you that all of a sudden they're making sense and you're beating guys that you struggled with a week ago with ease because no amount of training, no amount of drugs, no amount of coaching, any of that is going to give you that effect like that. Okay. All right. And it's all on you. It's not on your coach. It's not on anybody else either because you can have the best coach in the world. If you're not absorbing the knowledge they're throwing out, then you're not going to go anywhere. And uh, also remember that your coach, he doesn't have to be the greatest arm wrestler in the world. As a matter of fact, a lot of good arm wrestlers are really shitty teachers, you know, and I'm not even saying that trying to say I'm a good teacher, but I mean, John is the goat in my opinion, and he's not that good of a teacher. So, um, like I said, if you want to find something that can up your game very quickly, it's right here, you know, and that's that obviously that's a lot easier said than done. But to me, one of the keys is viewing the game differently. So <clears throat> if you're looking at it from a different angle than the rest of the pack, you know, you're either going to gain sooner than them or lose sooner than them. And you'll figure it out real damn quick. So, you know, can't hurt to try it. That's my my two cents. Um, anyway, you guys have a great Monday. Have a great rest of the week. We'll be putting out some more um some more technical stuff probably later on the day, maybe tomorrow. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate y'all. Roll Tide.